Bambas, welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. <laughs> bah humbug. Today we're back at Knott's Berry Farm for the Taste of Merry Farm because we didn't see all the things. We didn't eat all the things. I was like Jack from Lost. I was like, we gotta go back. <laughs> so we're back. Come with us on this adventure. <laughs> Last time we were here, we didn't even talk about this exclusive limited edition t-shirt. They have a Knott's Taste of Merry Farm, it has Snoopy, he's enjoying some kind of beverage with I, a candy I'm guessing can. it's hot cocoa. Hot cocoa? Right. And then there's the pin with the happy little snowman. Yeah. Only $16.99 if you want both of these. I feel like that's a heck of a deal. And then they also have these face masks, but I mean, this looks like an, an eye mask to me. Like, <laughs> it? like why is it? Up so high. Yeah. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Merry Christmas. And a happy new year. Am I right, fellas? I think I found the perfect Christmas ornament. <laughs> it's like our little family. It's me, you, well, we have two Gizmo, Pixel, and then, I don't know who that is. Why is he ruining that, our family photo? That's our sideshow baby yet. Oh, there we go. Perfect. One of the things that we didn't really get a chance to look at last time we were here is they have a lot of these crafters, and this is one of them where you can actually personalize hats and ornaments that start at $12.99. Yum! <laughs> this looks beautiful. Wow. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> First thing on the menu today we got from Fireman's Barbecue. This is Rudolph's Winter Pear Lemonade. I believe it has a candied ginger rim and then candied ginger on top. I feel like we don't normally spend our tabs on like drinks. So I don't know, but this one just looks so pretty. I mean, can you see how beautiful it is? Rudolph has got good taste. Ooh, wow. This is very pear. I was not <laughs> expecting that. It's good. Mm, okay, I need to get some of this ginger. Yeah, usually when they do lemonades here in Knott's, it's very subtle, the other flavor. It's very lemonade, but the other flavor subtle. Yeah, I can't even taste the lemonade. To be honest, it just tastes like a very refreshing, like pear seltzer or something. There's a little bit of that lemon, but I feel like it's very, very dominant pear. I have no idea how they get this amazing like purple color. Even the candy ginger on top is delicious. Who knew that ginger and pear went together? I'm gonna, you know what? Five out of five right out of the gate. This is freaking delicious. So, so good. From the same place, I got the corn on the cob. This comes with roasted garlic butter and cotija cheese. <laughs> Nailed it. You said it correctly. Good job. This didn't take 10 takes before he got it correct. Yeah. I've been saying it Cojita, but apparently it's Cotija. I don't know. Uh, we're probably still saying it wrong. Yeah, probably. Anyways, as you know, I am a connoisseur of corn on the cobs. So, and I've had all the corn on the cobs from all the, the Knott's Festival. So how does this compare? Let's see. <laughs> that garlic butter is strong. <laughs> Someone's not sleeping in the bed with me tonight. I can smell it from here. <laughs> it smells good. So flavorful. This is, I don't know, not, you can't go wrong with the roasted corn at Knott's. I like how they do it. I like how they have the husk there, the presentation, everything. Five out of five, Peters. I mean, if there was any, you know, any doubt. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this before. They got peppermint sarsaparilla. I feel like we gotta try that, right? It's not part of like the the tasting tabs. It's an yeah. extra price, but for science and for Santa. They also have peppermint cotton candy. Yes, I oh. heard that one's good. That sounds That's good. delicious. And that boysenberry hot cocoa. Yeah, she was telling me that this is amazing. So. And then look at all these more masks that we found. The ugly Christmas sweater. This one up here, Elf Squad. <laughs> Santa? I found him, Santa. 
And then just, you know, classic candy cane colors. Look at this cute little boysenberry ornament. You could buy a bunch of them and fill up your whole tree. So Knott's Berry Farm is known for their sarsaparilla, which I think it's just basically like a creamy root beer. Yeah. It's supposed to be out. <laughs> You're supposed to be able to twist this off, right? Very skeptical about this, but. <laughs> it really does taste like you melted a few like candy canes into some like cream soda. Is it good? I'm not sure that's a good thing. <laughs> Let me try it. <laughs> wow. Two and a half out of five Kitras. It's not really that good, but it was fun to try. Let me know if you find anything really, really yummy. We just <laughs> tried this peppermint sarsaparilla. You'll be in a sugar coma for, <laughs> for days. Yes, you know, I prefer to think of it as a Christmas coma. Christmas coma. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> there we are. You can never start the season too early, exactly. can you? Exactly. We, we just got to convince your boss, Scrooge, to, Oh, you know. Mr. Scrooge. Yeah. Well, obviously you are full of the Christmas spirit. I can yes. tell yes. by your beverage and your attitude and your mask. And uh, Mr. Scrooge is not one for Christmas quite so much. Should he say anything untoward, like humbug or bah? Well, then just look him in the eye and say, and a happy new year. <laughs> 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 got to be persistent. That's the way it works. Last time we were here, we visited Santa and we got a photo and we've since heard some rumblings that our photo may have made its way into Santa's workshop. That's not it. Is that it? It is! <laughs> it's us! It's us! I don't know how that happened, but we're now in... Yeah, so if you come get your picture with Santa, keep an eye out. One of the green snowflakes. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they'll keep us up until the end of the year. We're here on Thanksgiving. And it's empty. I don't think anybody booked their tickets to Knott's on Thanksgiving. And you know what? For that, I am grateful. From Sutter's Grill, we had to get these green bean fries. I'm pretty sure they're just breaded, deep fried green beans with that mushroom soup sauce, dipping sauce. I'm being healthy, right? Yeah, my favorite Thanksgiving dish is green bean casserole. You might say I'm a connoisseur of it. This is really good. It's not quite green bean casserole because it's missing those crispy onions, but it is a deep fried green bean with mushroom sauce. So for that, it gets five out of five Kitras. So good. I recommend trying these. And don't be scared. If you don't like vegetables, it just, it literally just tastes like deep fried. I just really, we spent $4 on this, so I'm trying to finish it. <laughs> I wonder you know, how long ago did these people leave their marks forever to be a part of Knott's Berry Farm history. From the Calico Saloon, I got the boysenberry citrus mule. I'm pretty sure it's just boysenberry. They said it was a citrus vodka and ginger beer. And I just wanted to mention, we always advise you to, you know, just spend your own money on the alcohol because it's a better value. But it turns out this is the size of a tasting tab. So I would double check when you're buying your alcohol. Sometimes they come in a smaller cup, but this one, you know, this is full size. So I use my tab and I'm happy about it. Ooh. You could taste the ginger beer a little bit, so I don't think you're gonna like it, Peter, but it is so like citrusy, and then it has that sweet boysenberry flavor. This is like, I think one of the best drinks I've ever tried at Knott's. And it's cute. <laughs> and there's basil. Or is this mistletoe? No? Five out of five Kitras. I know I'm giving everything fives today, but everything we've had has been like amazing. We stumbled upon this little booth. It's called Glass by Glass. And, well, they have all these really cute glass pumpkins. Like, how cute. They got this little guy or they have this big guy. Peter didn't seem too impressed by those glass pumpkins, but I think I found something over there that you might like, Peter. What is that? They have a glass taco holder. 40, $40. 
I mean, this obviously isn't a real taco, but it's just a display. But you could put your, all your tacos in there. I know you've been wanting one. Imagine living the life and being able to put your taco down in a glass taco holder. I mean, we could be living our life. It's only $40. This is so interesting. It's actually called Friedman Glass, and he's selling these glass-blown ornaments. And you could actually customize it and pick out your own colors and then watch him oh, glass blow your chilling. ornament. My furnace is sitting at 2,150 degrees. And inside there's about 70 pounds of molten glass. Comes up like honey. It acts like honey at these temperatures, but it rapidly cools down. I have a set, a bunch of colors set on the table right there. And I'll be dipping into them. I'll gently lay it down into our purple and you can see how it begins to pick it up. So all the colors bond to it real quickly as well. Now that we have our beautiful purple color, we'll collect our white. What I'm doing now is I'm rolling across this table surface, which is giving me more control over my glass. And now I'm beginning to turn without actually rolling across the table. I grab the glass and lightly come across the top. I'll blow into the pipe. And now we'll start shaping. So these are what the ornaments that he is creating look like when they are finished. You can pick the colors. That's incredible. Christmas? Yes. Out upon Merry Christmas. I say every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled in his own pudding and buried with a stake of holly through his heart. What good Christmas ever done to you except make you a year older and not an hour richer? You keep Christmas in your way and let me keep it in mine. I've been saying I've been missing our friend the mayor, but I will say Scrooge. Scrooge was awesome. You, you know, he makes some good points. <laughs> kind of like on his side, so I don't know. <laughs> bah humbug. Yes. Oh um, yeah, I heard he's a bit notorious for saying that, that bah humbugging. <laughs> I am so sick of it, I tell you. See, we're trying to lift his spirits. So if you can think of any way to possibly raise his spirits by tonight, I'd really appreciate it, because I am not looking forward to our meeting. I have an idea. Why don't you appear to him and show him like his past then maybe we could have the Ghost of Christmas future show him what would happen in the future. I like that idea. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, guys. Thank you guys so much. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, oh my gosh, you dropped it. Pick it up. Right. Say thank you. Yeah. Say happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> next to the wilderness boiler and next to the Calico River Rapids, this area has usually been blocked off in all the previous festivals, but they finally opened it up and now that you can make a complete loop through Knott's Berry Farm. So let's keep walking this way and see where it takes us. Oh, this is interesting. This is normally a bumper car rink and they've turned it into seating. So you get the once in a lifetime experience of eating on a bumper car rink. It would've been cool if they could've converted the bumper cars into tables. From the Hollywood Hits booth, I got the chocolate chip slice with vanilla ice cream and chocolate sauce drizzled on top. I mean, how awesome does this look? <laughs> I know one of Peter's favorite foods is a cookie cake, so yeah. I'm honestly surprised that you don't really want this. No, I do want it. And there's just so much to choose hey, from. Hey, I, I only like cookie cakes. I don't like cookie pizza slices. Oh, okay. Well, I'm here to, <laughs> to test it out. Let me grab a little slice, dip it in that vanilla ice cream. It smells so good, you guys. Am I gonna give everything a five today? <laughs> it seems like it. Oh my God. This is exactly like what it sounds like. This is everything I hoped for, everything I dreamed for. I feel like my Christmas dreams are coming true today at Knott's Berry Farm. I love that the ice cream is just like a simple, like vanilla soft serve. Oh yeah. This is good. Yeah, but that chocolate syrup looks good on top. Oh, all mine. Five out of five Kitras. I highly recommend this. This is one of the better things that we've had, in my opinion. Mm. So from the same place, I got the Bloody Slime. <laughs> no, wrong festival. Oh, that was the wrong festival. This, I'm wondering if this is the same thing. What this is, is a cherry and lime margarita, yeah. but it looks suspiciously like that that, that bloody uh, slime margarita. 
So, but I love that, so I'm, I'm willing to, you know, give it another try. Now, should be mentioned, he did pay for the upgrade to the full size. This is, yeah, I, I think it's the same thing. It's the same thing. And you can't really see it because, like, by the time we got over to this, <laughs> this bumper car rink, which, how cool is it that we're eating on a bumper car rink? Yeah, there's, like, nobody in here. But uh, when we first got it, you could actually see the green and the red. It was kind of festive and Christmas. Now it's just red. It just, you know, the green has been overtaken by the red. But yes, it's cherry, it's lime, it's sugary, it's awesome. The, the frozen margaritas here at Knott's are incredible. A lot of people complain that like you can't taste the alcohol and maybe there is very little alcohol in here. Eh, whatever. I, I love it. Five out of five, Peters. And we're getting like all home runs today. Knott's has really upped their game with these festivals. Before we go meet Snoopy, I want to just give a quick shout out to some of our Patreons. That includes Matthew Rowland, Toby Hill, Terry, Julie, Jameson Miller, and Florian Ernst. Thanks, guys. Right, ladies? They say thank you, too. I just gotta say, I love your outfits. Very fashionable. And I think they're from a different time. Yeah, I think the Roaring Twenties. <laughs> but, I mean, look at that face. Look at her haircut. <laughs> love it. One of the most anticipated things every year at Knott's Merry Farm is Snoopy on ice. Of course, this year with the global situation, they can't have people watching a show indoors. So they've turned the newly redecorated Charles M. Schultz Theater into a meet and greet with some of the Peanuts characters. Hello, you guys. Charlie Brown and Franklin. Thank you for being here. Happy Thanksgiving. I love their little setup. I see there's a bone for Snoopy back there. You see that? Yeah, I heard Snoopy was supposed to be here, but he he quit quit uh, he quit being in the comic strips. Do you know why? He was tired of working for Peanuts. Hilarious! <laughs> wow, good one. Well, nice seeing you guys. Yes, I love your sweaters. I love your little shoes. You guys are like styling. This is actually the first time that we've been able to get this close to the new Berry Tales ride. And look at the Knott's Berry Factory exterior. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Look at all the Christmas decorations. There's all the boysenberries like in the region. I really love how they've turned the first floor of this building into like a shipping and receiving plant for the boysenberries. Yeah, I love this like old school purple car. How badly do you wish that we could go inside? It's ready to go. It I is. know it's ready to go. Just beyond these walls, all our boysenberry dreams could come true. Have to wait a little bit longer, unfortunately. 2021. I love that they even have boysenberry colored presents. If only we didn't have to wait until the end of 2021 to open them. This is Jim Shorts coming to you from the Knot Sports Desk, and here are some of the latest scores. There's some DJs in the boardwalk area. I wonder if they take song requests. Are you afraid of Santa? Obsessed with what list you might be on? Freaked out by the notion of someone you really don't know watching you when you're sleeping? You may be suffering from Santa claustrophobia, the fear of Saint Nick. No need to shout, no need to cry, no need to pout. I'm telling you why. The Santa Claustrophobia Mobile Clinic is coming to town. Keep listening to this station for more details. And now it's time for another episode of the continuing daytime drama, The 12 Days of Our Christmas Lives. I know we have been dating less than a few weeks, and I'm so glad we have put our past differences in the past. Here's your Christmas gifts, darling. Thank you, darling. Okay. Keep your dial tuned to 1920 K.Dot Radio, the only radio channel in the Boardwalk area. That is the only radio channel in the Boardwalk area. They're great. This, this just became my new favorite radio station, I'm pretty sure. They just dedicated a song to me, but we didn't get it on camera. But thank you, DJs. You guys are the best. <laughs> so I messed up. I only brought one battery with us today. So turns out for the rest of the video, we're going to switch over to the iPhone. What, 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 where do I look? Where do I look? Ooh. That's the stuff right there. Oh my god. That looks amazing. Thank you. Oh, wow. This is heavy. Oh, beautiful. Great. 
Have a good day, guys. Thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving. Yum. At the Boardwalk Barbecue booth, I got the hot turkey sandwich. And this comes with turkey stuffing, cranberry mayo, and gravy. And it looks huge. I'm not even sure if I can pick this up. Yeah, it looks messy is what it yeah, looks like. Yeah, how am I gonna, how does this even, I don't, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh no, this is a disaster. Uh, I don't know how to, oh no. <laughs> it's all falling out. I don't, this, should you use like a knife and a fork? Okay, I don't know. Take a bite. I can get everything in that bite. Hold on. Yeah, this is where everything landed. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is trying to be like the holiday sandwich that we love at Earl's Sandwich. But that cranberry mayo is not good. I don't know. I, I could finish eating it because, you know, I love stuffing. But it's hard to eat. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure if I'd recommend this to anybody. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a two. Wow. It's a little below average. Yeah, skip this one. And you don't have to waste the wet wipe. Yeah. And then you don't have to eat it. <laughs> win win. Oh. And try the mashed potatoes. Those aren't good either? They're cold. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's a Thanksgiving disaster. I blame Scrooge. I gave it two, but I I hate to do this because I know there's starving kids out there, but. Oh. As you know, I'm a connoisseur of Thanksgiving sandwiches and that was a bad Thanksgiving sandwich. So does it still get a two or? I'm giving it a zero. Whoa. From the same place, I got the eggnog creme brulee. Never had an eggnog creme brulee before. It also comes with a butter cookie. Just crack right in there. You can always tell a good creme brulee by the crack. Ooh. It's really okay. crack. Oh yeah, because I went like a lightning speed. I like eggnog. I don't like love it. But you know, I like to have a little bit of it during the holidays, so I'm hoping this is enjoyable. This is a really big bite. <laughs> what? I can't tell if that's a good look or a bad look. This is ignorant creme brulee. This is exactly like what it sounds like. If you've never had creme brulee before, it's kind of like a custard with a hard sugar shell on top. And this literally just tastes like creme brulee pudding or something. Yeah. It's good. But you, gotta, you gotta try that cookie. If you like creme brulee, you're probably gonna enjoy this. Yeah, let's try the cookie. Mm. This goes very well with it. Nice and buttery. This is really good. Let me guess. Five out of five Ketros. <laughs> I feel like last time you learned and you, you like didn't give everything fives and this time you've progressed you, you've what degressed. I'm gonna say. If you love eggnog, you're gonna absolutely love this. If you don't like eggnog, do not get this. That being said, I feel like it's a four out of five kickers. I'd still rather have like a normal creme brulee, but this is fun and festive. I wanted to mention that the games over by the boardwalk are now playable and some of them are even Christmas related. I love that if you wanna win a sloth, you gotta yes, throw a ball. Yes, into a slaw. Oh, and it says ho ho ho. Nice to meet you, Ordinary Adventures. <laughs> I like the concept of this game, except I don't. I don't think I want you to guess my weight. Okay, I have two other options. Age or month of birth. Yes, these are the five dollar prizes. Those are the ten dollar prizes. These last two baskets are the fifteen dollar prizes. Okay. Hey, right. got my game card. I think I'm gonna have him try to guess my date, my uh, month that I was born in. Came back. Good. All right. Which prize would you like to go for? Ten dollar prize, please. Very good. So I'm gonna write down one of the months of the year, and uh, for me to win, I have to be exactly right. If I'm off by one month, you win. Okay. okay. What is your first name? Kitra. Kitra. Yes. 
a very pretty name. Okay, I'm going to write down one of the months of the year. I will show the camera, and when I do show you the, show the camera, please don't make any gestures okay. or, or say say it out loud. Uh, I would assume you two know each other, therefore you know each other's birthdays quite well. So I'm going to say that your birthday is in that month right there. Okay, got it? Good. Okay, is your birthday in the summertime? Uh, no. No, that eliminates June, July, and August. I'm now down to one six. <clears throat> Wait, do I have to be truthful? Yes. Oh, okay. You sorry. do have to tell the truth. Is your birthday in the springtime? Yes or no? No. No? Then you're going to win because the springtime months are March, April, and May. And I wrote and I wrote April. So you are going to be a winner. Yay! When is your birthday? It's December. It's December, that's a winter yeah. month. Oh. But that's okay. okay. That, that's all right. So <laughs> oh, you did win. You did get the prize. <laughs> Did okay. you like mistakenly tell him that it wasn't no, in December? I, I didn't. It's all right. Yeah. It's not a big thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel like I cheated. I didn't mean no, to. No, you didn't cheat. You just made a mistake, yeah. and that's okay. So which one are you going to choose? I don't know. Which one is the cutest? <laughs> They're all equally cute. I think I'm going to choose this one. Very, very good. Thank you so much. You're so welcome, and I'll be sure to check out the video later. <laughs> it's called a bun bun. It reminds me of that Yoda that you have, like the it's Squishmallow. It's so cute. Yeah, it looks like the Squishmallow thing. Is it really a game or are you actually spending $10 for a $2 stuffed animal? Is that what it is? That's what it is. From the Dipping Dot stand, we got the Concha. And this has ice cream in it. Normally it comes with vanilla. They were out of vanilla, so I got the eggnog flavored. I like eggnog. And I also like Conchas. I remember I got one at Disneyland at Rancho, they had like this beautiful one that was like rainbow colored. This is like a Mexican sweet bread where it has like tons of, it looks like a shell almost and it has yeah. tons of sugar on top. Here we go. I'm, I'm not a, not quite a connoisseur, I've only had a couple. My God. <laughs> It's not hard at all. It's fluffy. Look at that. There's like some sprinkles and stuff in there. I know that's not the like most beautiful <laughs> look at it, but this is so good. And I, I actually might even recommend if you get this, get it with the eggnog ice cream that they sell there. It'll make it just that much more festive. I know I'm turning into Kitra, but I'm giving this five out of five. Wow. Peter. This is amazing. Maybe I need to become a concha connoisseur. <laughs> is that how you pronounce it? Concha? concha? I, think, I think so. It's dripping all over the place, I can tell you that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, one got on my toes earlier. <laughs> Should I be wearing flip-flops in November? From the cantina, I had to get these carne asada street tacos. Our friends, wonderfully normal, spoke so highly of them in their vlog that, you know, I just had to try them be honest they don't really look that amazing so hopefully the taste is what makes them good cheers to you guys <laughs> mm. okay these are really good the guacamole definitely tastes like store-bought it doesn't taste fresh but you know I kind of like the store-bought guacamole so I'm not complaining the steak is really, really flavorful, but I think the star are these homemade tortillas. Delicious. What do you think? <laughs> it's like it's windy. Yeah. Four and a half out of five pitchers. They're not quite perfect, but they're definitely hitting the spot right now. <laughs> There's still a ton of stuff that we have not done at Taste of Merry Farm, but we'll be back again. And there's still a lot of food. We like, we barely tackled the food, so we're definitely coming back, don't you worry. If you want to see our last visit to Taste of Merry Farm, we'll put the video right over there. Check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.